Okay, so today you want to know how Worth It works. Well, stick with this as this is going to be a nice little mini series on how every part of Worth It and how it works. Starting off with this episode, which is Worth It Basics. Okay, so when getting started with Worth It, there are a few prerequisites that you need to do. Of course, you need to download the add-on from CurseForge, and this is easily done either through Overwolf or WowUp. Now, aside from all of that, there are a few requirements when you are about to use Worth It. This will be having the Trade Skill Master add-on and also the Trade Skill Master desktop application. This is so Worth It can actually have some form of value to actually base its farming data off of. Other optional add-ons that you may want to install at the beginning of this series is Root, TomTom, Executive Assistant and Scrap. These add-ons are pretty handy and are used in a multiple different ways within the Worth It add-on. So you may want to grab those right now. All of that is done and is all set up. So your Trade Skill Master is set up and then you've got your Worth It downloaded. You can actually go into the main UI, which you'll be greeted with the dashboard. The dashboard will show all current content farms preset for that expansion. So currently we're in Shadowlands. That means that we will only show Shadowlands farms in the dashboard. However, you do have a drop down menu, which you can actually go into different types of farms, which you can go to mining farms and it will cover all of the farming, all of the mining farms that you can do in the open world. That being said, you can have loads of other different farms like mining, herbalism, fishing, skinning, cloth, miscellaneous, multi farms, mounts, toys, and raw gold. And for the actual basics of how this actually works, you will want to set your configuration. When you actually get started with Worth It, it will immediately default to the DB market. So this is how it would currently look, is DB market. You can choose a price source, which can be either custom, so that's a custom price string, which we'll be getting on to later on in the series, DB Mimbile, DB Market, DB Historical, Region Market Average, Region Historical, and Region Seller Sale Average. These ones are used within Worth It and they can be assigned to two different types of strings. This is the current content, so the expansion that you're in, farms, and you can base those off of whatever you like, and everything else. So legacy content price source is anything that is not the current expansion. This is the overview of what you would actually want to do. And you can either leave it as the default of DB market and go into like your farms and see what it's like, or you can set it to whatever you like. This is located within the configuration. That being said, when you are going to look for a farm, say you go into multi farms, you can then have a look at what type of farm you actually want. And you can look for specifically by using the search bar in the top right hand corner. You can type in whatever you want. So I could say platinum for platinum ore, and it will find platinum ore for you and sort through all of the farms that are being displayed. So you don't have to worry about all of that. Other different things is battle pets. You can actually farm battle pets within Worth It and it will display the value of that battle pet plus what the actual value is, the location of that battle pet. There are different other different modules that we'll be covering in the rest of this series. So please stay tuned and watch thoroughly. Other than that, I will see you in the next episode of Worth It. Mm -hmm.